Are you interested in learning a simple tip to instantly improve your forehand and to help your forehand for the long term? Well, we're gonna give you the solution. It's a very, very common sense tip that again, I haven't heard many people talk about, but if you put this into practice, I guarantee you your forehand's gonna get to the next level. My name's Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP player and USTA high performance coach, and I am pa passionate about helping players all over the world get better. Players just like you that are excited about getting better. So the key that I want you to focus on right now is this really simple t key of becoming aware of where you're missing your forehand. Too often, players miss forehands in the net. Okay, they hit way too many forehands in the net and they don't even know that they're doing it. I've been watching players for years Forehands and forehand returns are going in the net way too much. And again, they're not even aware of it. So here's the simple phrase that I want you to tell yourself all the time on your forehand return and on your forehand. Clear the net. That's it. Clear the net. Of course, I want you to watch the rest of this video so we can talk more about this. But you have to be more focused on clearing the net on every single forehand that you hit rather than winning the match that you're playing. It has to be more important because when I chart matches, I see too many forehands being dumped in the net, especially when players are nervous. Okay, so when players are nervous, they focus on, they, 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 their hand gets uh, heavy, they finish lower, the ball, that one went over the net, the ball just clumps down into the net. That was an exaggeration there. So we've gotta put an emphasis on no matter what, we're going to what? Clear the net. No matter what, clear the net. So you are looking at a spot over the net every time. And again, I know this sounds simple, but again, most players are focusing on winning the point rather than the goal of clearing the net every time. If you just played an entire match and hit, and hit every forehand over the net, you would play better tennis. I guarantee it. If you're making five to 10 errors a match, forehands in the net, if you cut that in half, if you stop missing in the net, your game gets better. It's as simple as that. So put your attention on clearing the net every time you hit a forehand. If you have to exaggerate, you do it. So how do you make sure that you clear the net every time? Well, first of all, you look over there and you see a big window to hit through. That window is above the net strap and you can keep adjusting it throughout the match. If you're hitting too low, then you can aim higher and you can get more net clearance. And again, you make that the biggest goal of your life on that day for your tennis. Okay, so you aim through a window. You make sure you have that imaginary window above the net and you hit it through it. The next thing is you can actually finish higher. I like to say, I, I like to have players focus on finishing higher. What does that mean? When you swing, you finish higher with your hand. So the hand goes above the shoulder. When we're nervous, we go across and we get short. So we wanna focus on finishing higher and I like going over the shoulder. You will guarantee, you'll, it's guaranteed that you'll hit many more forehands over the net if you finish higher. You can also use a buggy whip. You can finish with your hand above your head. As long as you don't go back like this, finish with your hand above the head with extension and you'll be clearing the net. So that's really huge to be able to use the buggy whip or to finish high on your forehand. So we've covered hitting over the net by aiming through a window. We've covered focusing on finishing high with the hand or using the buggy whip, which is still high with the hand. The other concept that I like is simply just getting under the ball. A lot of players swing and they're not getting under the ball. They swing straight at the ball. So you wanna make sure that you drop the racket head under the ball every single time. Notice how that's my third or fourth tip. Again, it starts with awareness, then we go to targets, then we go to finish, and then we start focusing on things uh, to do before we even make contact, okay? So keep that in mind. We wanna become aware that we're missing in the net. You may not be one of these players that misses in the net. You may miss long. That's a different video for you. But many players I've observed over the years miss way too many forehands in the net. The more that you're stretched wide, when you're pulled out wide on your forehand, the more you have to do what? Aim higher, higher window, finish higher. So you aim higher and you finish higher. Always focusing on clearing the net. That has to become a mantra when you play tennis. 
Again, if you want to improve your forehand quickly, focus on clearing the net and use these tips that I talked about. Hit through the window. Make sure that you finish high with your hand. Get under the ball and you will be set on your forehand. I really enjoyed delivering this video lesson to you today. I'm confident that this one tip can help your forehand. If you enjoyed this lesson, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, click the thumbs up button, leave your questions and comments below. We will answer them. And if you want more information about Tennis Evolution, the free tips that we can provide for you to help you get to the next level, you can subscribe to our blog, to our website. We've got great blog material, great video tips. We have more videos on YouTube plenty of information to help you. You can click the link in the description below to get subscribed and to get that free information to help you improve. There's also going to be a link or a video or somewhere to click in this video so that you can get those free tips as well. Thanks again for your time today. Really appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you at the next video lesson.